Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys. Oh, that was weird. Update you guys with some more of the Fireball Mine character. Um, so I have gotten quite a few upgrades since the last time you guys saw. So I want to go ahead and talk about those really fast. So the first thing that I did is I actually ended up crafting a Remote Mine Helmet. Now, the helmet is garbage and sucks so much, but the thing is, is it gives level 20 Remote Mine, which is the largest source of damage increase that we could acquire in the entire game. Um, the main reason why is if you see how it says place an additional mine, this means that anytime we drop a mine, it drops two, and we have a chance because of our Saboteur Ascendancy to actually drop three mines. Um, this means that if you are not using Minefield, you get a huge damage multiplier, which I don't use Minefield for my single target skill. The other thing is, I was using Minefield before with Tremor Rod, um, and I explained to you guys in that previous video why I didn't like Tremor Rod, which was if you use Minefield and Tremor Rod, you just actually cannot detonate your mines fast enough, so by not having to use Minefield anymore because of the plus one helm, it actually is a huge damage increase for us. So I ended up swapping Minefield with Combustion. Um, I, the reason I'm using Combustion over like anything else is because this minus 19 fire res is really sick for adding single target to our flame search. I moved my flame search trap into my helmet just because, and not really anything specific, it doesn't matter if I use it in the cloaker here because it's a five link. I've got trap in mind, flame search, Ellie focus, fire pen, and I've got GMP fork, fire pen, fireball combustion. Um, so today I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit, or not talk a little bit, but run some nice yummy maps for you guys. I may die in one of these. Um, so I apologize ahead of time if I die, you know, I try not to, but first we're going to do a wasteland, so tier 14, and then I'm going to do a hydra, because we are actually farming hydra for a snake pit. So wasteland, no regen, I can't do no regen anymore now unless I run a light or a mono flask, don't really want to do that. That's fine, hopefully this isn't too scary. That is, uh, I'm going to re-roll that just because the crit is pretty spooky. Well, it's not so bad. I can try it, but Hydra can definitely one-shot me with a crit multi-mod, so I guess you can see me get one-shot. It's also reduced crit damage, um, so I am going to do a little bit less there. Now, I've also done a few things. I fit in a Wise Oak. Wise Oak is awesome if you can balance your resistances, and with Master Crafting, balancing your resistances is now easier than ever. It's just annoying spending, like, 15 Blessed Orbs to, like, change the implicits uh, on your accessories to get your... Uh, even resists. When I did this, I ended up respecking out from the bottom here, and I went up to grab Alchemist, Cruel Preparation, and Deep Thoughts. Um, and then Dream Fragments is what allowed us to drop this flask that we had before, because now we don't need immunity to freeze and chill. This is really nice for bossing, because on things like Hydra and I think Hiri, Hiri, one of the Legion character bosses, constantly are slowing you. This makes you immune to chill and freeze. So I'm immune to shock, freeze, chill and ignite naturally which is good and i dropped the life flask because i'll be honest the chances of me dying like from like not like basically a life flask is not going to save me from getting one hit the only time a life flask is going to save me for sustaining but if i get bursted down it's not my life pool that matters it's the fact that i lose all of my mana as well and a hybrid flask wouldn't really do much justice so ideally if i get hit really hard i just kind of kite around and i get my regen back from playing a sap so, anyway, let's get started and jump into this wasteland map. Pretty cool, a golden. Now, I'm also using Charge Trap, or not Charge Trap, Siphon Trap, which is on my R that you'll see there. It's nothing really that special. Um, it is kind of nice for sustaining though. If you ever feel like you have to kite something like a spooky red beast or an essence mob or even like legion mobs, that's when the siphon trap comes in. Uh, it's just a nice boost to your overall regen. And despite this character may seeming a bit squishy, it still feels pretty tanky even with like that garbage helmet that I have. Because we've got the 4k life with the 1.6k mom really good regen, an 800 ES buffer, and Wise Oak helps helps with the uh, reduced elemental damage taken, and then the blind reduces damage of targets by 10%, and of course we have Perma Blind, which is really nice. And then Flask Effect with Basalt as well. So 
that's an example of the single target right now. If you wanted to get more single target, um, I'm not using a cast one damage taken, but cast one damage taken wave of conviction would apply fire exposure. Would be really nice. Um, I'm too lazy to do that right now. I'm basically what I'm doing is I'm leveling a bunch of gems because I'm trying to get 21 gems. I would rather do that than just have like a little bit of bonus damage inconsistently, I guess you could say. Okay, let's pop you. One, two, three, then an eight, what do we have over here? Exactly the best layout, unfortunately. My best advice for Legion, because I know a lot of people are getting one shot by Legions, myself included, is uh, don't backtrack, don't stand still, and just keep running. And what I mean by don't backtrack is like if, if there's a Legion mob here and it's shooting you. Don't go like this, because then you're going to walk right back into the attack. What did I miss? I missed like that up initial part. Oh, there we go. That's only 38. That's fine. Oh, did I sell what I wanted to unveil? That's okay. Alright, time for the Hydra. I've been doing pretty good with the Hydra fight, but remember, I haven't really done much Guardians in general, so... Hopefully I don't get one shot. I would like to make this a nice, clean video for you guys. Syndicate. Syndicate likes the one shot in tier 16 maps with crit multi. That's definitely spooky. Well, boys, I said I was making a clean video, but pretty sure we're going down right now. Here we go. All clarity's on. Oh, it was just Coral by himself. Okay, no problem. Nothing down there. Is that Tora? Okay, Tora is like super spook. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. I lied. I'm just going to skip that. I don't need to run that right now. Ooh, Legion. Nice. Let's get some flash charges. Pop away. Uh, this is very spooky in that corner. There are a lot of rares with aura stacking in there. Lightning Mirage as well. Okay. I don't even know how many of them are live. Did I get them all? I don't believe it. I think 
I did. Oh wow, I did. Awesome. Rewarding content. My bad, full. Okay. Okay, here we go. Damn, I tapped my flash way too early. Bad flash management. Thought it was dead there. Awesome. Hydra done. See, even without the life flask, the sustain feels pretty good in my opinion, so I don't really feel like I need to run it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the character right now. It feels very nice, very smooth. The biggest upgrade for sure was this plus one remote mine. Even though I dropped like a lot of survivability, not even that much, like 300 effective life, it was so worth it for the damage. I mean, the fact that Legion mobs died twice as fast is definitely way better than having that extra 300 effective life. Um, I'll definitely try crafting another one later. I just really, really wanted to get that going because minefield with Tremor Rod, I feel like you just aren't really bringing out the most of Tremor Rod. Um, so that's one thing. Cloak of Defiance I really like. I, I could probably replace a Cloak of Defiance now, now that I have this as a 5 link, but Cloak of Defiance is super nice because of that extra 40% conversion and all the mana. Um, another thing about Minefield is Minefield was shooting my mana cost up to over 100 something. Replacing Minefield with uh, Combustion lowered the mana cost by like 20 something per mine. So the mana is much more like it, it, I don't really go oom ever now either. So super good upgrades. Um, as for the skill tree, I guess now would probably the point where I start filling in two point jewels and respecting like a 5% life node or a 4% life node or a 6% life node for like a jewel plus crit multi, like life plus crit multi in my jewels because I've got none in the build. Uh, for sure that's gonna do much more damage if you, if you consider like 15 to 20 crit multi per point. Um, Yep, and then I can probably respec a few mono nodes if I get like uh, temple. Temple uniques have very good uh, mono mono nodes on them or mono rolls. You can also like get this as well. But yep, that's pretty much it. Uh, also, dying sun from Shaper will I'm pretty sure make me switch from flame search to ice spear because the extra projectiles from that will be awesome. And I can already just replace this quartz flask with a dying sun uh, since the poison immunity is not really mandatory or anything. Uh, my Pantheon has been Soul of Lunaris. Um, it's pretty nice. Basically, the projectile avoidance helps from the Legion, since that's pretty much what one-shots you, is the projectile dudes. Chance to dodge, attack, and spell hits if you've been hit recently, and then the Lunaris buff. And for this, I'm just using Gruth Cull, um, but really, it's not very smart. I really should use probably Soul of Shikari, um, because of the degen affecting like the Mind Over Matter, because the worst thing you can do is get stuck from poison clouds and then you can't flame dash because you're oom. So definitely that's probably better and then immunity to poison is really nice. Um, or you can decide to go with Tukahama but I don't really try to face tank things. This is pretty good too. If you haven't been hit recently, the extra movement speed. Yep, that's pretty much about it. Here's our Atlas completion. Things are going pretty well. Uh, I've got it so I pretty much only have Hydra right now because I'm trying to farm the Hydra ring like I told you guys so that I can drop Fork. Although, honestly, I don't even know if I need to do that because my damage feels really good right now, but dropping Fork would be pretty fucking sick too because it would be like replacing Fork for, um, what, like Immolate as an example. Like That's a pretty big change. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Uh, otherwise, remember that you can tune in on the streams at twitch.tv slash pox, and you guys can stream, see me streaming live every day, um, except for Saturdays. Saturdays I do have off, but sometimes I do it. Also remember, in my Discord, we post whenever I go live every day, if you don't want to follow, uh, or if you don't know the schedule. Anyway, take care, have a wonderful time, see you guys all tomorrow.